What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create this eye glow effect instead of after effects. Now this effect is actually pretty simple to do. All it really requires is just some simple masking um, and that's pretty much it honestly. So yeah, we're just going to select our clip here and then go into this uh, pen tool here. And once you have the pen selected, you just want to zoom in to one of the eyes here and just go around and select it. And you want to do a pretty good job um, selecting the eye. And if you hold down Alt while you select one of these points, it brings up these other points. So you can kind of like move it around to smooth out the edges here. So it's kind of like an oval. You can also open up the mask here and bring this to none. So you can kind of see what you're actually selecting here. So that looks pretty good for the first frame. And what I'm going to do is just right click this and hit track mask. And it'll bring up this tracker right here. And we just want to go ahead and analyze this forward. And you can see it goes ahead and tracks the eye pretty good. Um, so in this case, I didn't really have to do pretty much anything. I actually did a super good job and tracked the whole entire eye here and didn't really mess up at all. So I can just go ahead and move on to the second eye now. So with the pen tool selected, Let's just go ahead and do the same process on this eye. All right, so I just selected the eye, so I'm gonna go back into the tracker here and just hit analyze forward. So it'll track the mask to this eye here. And there we go, we have two masks tracked to both of the eyes. And pretty much all we have to do now is duplicate this clip. So if you hit control D, it'll create a duplicated layer. And on the bottom one, let's just go ahead and delete the mask here. And on the top layer here, just go ahead and hit M to bring up the mass and just go ahead and bring this none back to add for both of these. Um, you can also hit F on the top layer here to bring up the feathers and we can bring the feather to like five for both of those. Now you can do this without plugins, but the result won't look like, I guess, as good as if you were using plugins. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it without plugins first. So it's pretty simple. I mean, all you have to do is go into the effects here and search up glow. And let's just bring on the default glow here. And as you can see, the eyes like start to glow the more uh, you bring down the glow threshold. You can also mess with the glow radius here. And if you want to change the color of the eyes, you can go ahead and apply an effect called fill. Bring this onto your clip here. Now make sure the fill is above your glow. And then we can change this color to whatever you want. I'm going to do like a purple here. So now you can see the eyes are glowing. We can go ahead and duplicate this glow if you want. Just hit control D on that. So it makes the glow like brighter. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I really can do with like <laughs> the basic effects instead of After Effects. I'm sure you guys might know uh, other ways to kind of go about like creating like rays and stuff, like actual like glow rays from the eyes. I'm just not totally sure how to create an effect that looks like actually good without using plugins. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and delete these glows here, but I'll go ahead and keep the fill. And the glow that I'm going to use instead of the default glow is called a deep glow. It's from plug in everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this onto our clip. And as you can see, it leaves this like weird like black border here. So we just want to go ahead and hit this little box right there required for text. And then once again, you can mess with the radius and then also the exposure. And as you can see, this glow already looks a lot better than the default glow. So you can go ahead and leave it at that. But uh, what I recommend doing is actually adding in some like shine. So I have an effect called shine and this is from uh, Red Giant. So this effect just looks super clean and is super easy to use. So once you have it applied, just go into the colorize here and bring this to none. So it uses the colors from your uh, fill layer here. And also the source point right here, you can move it around wherever you want the like light rays to be shining towards. So around here, it looks pretty good. You can also mess with the ray length. So we can have this around like 10. And as you can see, the rays are just obviously longer. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it with the shine plugin. Um, if you don't have this, you can actually use another one called rays, I think. Yeah, S underscore rays. Go ahead and apply this onto your clip here. It's kind of like the same as shine, but a little bit different. As you can see, you can mess with the ray length again. So you can bring this out. You can increase the brightness if you want, but I think it's already pretty bright, so I'm not going to mess with that. And yeah, that's just another way you can create some rays on the eyes here. So two different methods you can kind of go about creating the rays. And I guess one extra effect you can apply to this is a uh, psycho stripes right here. And this is from Sapphire. So if you are using the SNS for rays and you can go ahead and drag on this one other effect. And I'm going to use this right above the fill layer here, um, but we can mess with the source scale here. And then also the phase speed. I'm going to lower this down just a little bit. And as you can see, you get some pretty trippy results with that. Um, I'll play it with the shine also on here. 
kind of crazy. If you want to use that, you can go ahead and use it or you can just go and stick with the regular fill. And I guess one last thing, um, if you want to go ahead and kind of have this animate on, you can simply just animate the opacity here and just set keyframes. So if you hit T, it opens up the opacity. So yeah, that's how you create this eye glow effect inside of After Effects. It's pretty simple, but you do need some plugins if you actually want to create a pretty cool effect, I guess, with it. Um, but if you guys do find out a way to create like these rays without any plugins, then make sure to let me know down in the comments below. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.